Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece Chapter 706 review. That is seven. That is, oh, here it comes. Here it goes. <laughs> Six review. So before I get started with, with the actual review portion of the chapter review, let me do a brief summary of the entire chapter. Now, basically, the brief summary is put, we get to see the introduction of two two big names in the block b section and those two big names are the cannibal bartolomeo rocking a bounty of 150 million berry and the hyena bellamy who is rocking right now currently a 195 million berry bounty and then block b kicks off with a bunch of dudes tag teaming against Bellamy and that's the chapter like like that's literally like the chapter in a brief summary nutshell like that's what it is that's what it is I mean so but let me get more into detail and to be precise when I say more into detail I mean specifically Bartolomeo and Bellamy okay cuz and there's something about Bellamy where I was like hold on whoa yeah what's going on what's going on so first of all Bartolomeo so, in last week's chapter, uh, there was a person, and this person, he, his name wasn't Bartolomeo. His name was, in fact, Gambina. And he is part of the, uh, of the, uh, Balt Club Pirates. And so, but, and this guy, in last week's chapter, he got taken out by this Marine, by this Marine Vice Admiral. And his name was Maynard. And apparently, the captain of the Balt Club Pirates, Bartolomeo, who we see in this week's chapter, he takes out Maynard for taking out one of his subordinates. So, last week's chapter, that guy, he wasn't Bartolomeo. He was, he's, his, his name was Gambino. And this guy, he is the cannibal. The cannibal Bartolomeo. And he is a supernova from this year. Because, if you guys remember, supernovas always come, like, they're yearly. You feel me? Like, every year, there's always going to be, like, a new batch of supernova. Like, for example, I believe three years ago, Cavendish, the pretty boy, I believe he was a supernova uh, three years ago. Two years ago, there's a, there is, there is of course, the 11 supernova that we all know of. Drake, Hawkins, Law, Kid, Luffy, Zoro, and etc., etc. And last year, this guy was a supernova. In fact, this year, Caribo, he's a supernova. And his brother was. Well, yeah, his brother, I think, is Catcher. But, you know, like Caribo, he, this year, is a supernova. So there's always going to be Supernova every year, every every timeline. And he is a Supernova from last year. And he he's a dick, to say the least. And I like it. He's fucking around with the crap. The crowd's like, man, fuck you, man, we don't like you. And then he's like, fucking... <laughs> and then, <laughs> apparently, he throws a, he, he throws a baseball, like, like a black baseball, into the crowd. And then everyone's like, it's a bomb! And they, they all head for the hills, and people are saying, like, the most fucked up shit. Like, I'll pay you to let me, I'll pay you to let me go in front of you. Like, hey, like, it's it's ladies first, like, get the hell out of my way. And then when the ball drops, and everyone's like, fuck was that? He's like, you guys make me sick. And everyone's like, boo, fuck you, man. Like, it was like, it was so, I like this guy. This guy, he's a real dick. Very good, very good. Um, he's cool. He's a cool dude. And he's, of course, he's powerful. I mean, granted, he only has a 150 million berry bounty. But he's easily able to take out Vice Admiral level, you know, people. Uh, I mean, Maynard was Vice Admiral, and he took him out and threw his ass into a garbage dump. Like he did his own subordinate, Gambina. So, this person, Bartolomeo, is the definition of not fucking around. And I like that. I like that a lot. Um, well, at least in the sense of when he, when, when he gets serious, he doesn't fuck around. With the, with the crowd, he, he doesn't care. In fact, one of the guys, one of the top guys in the Black B, he was like, way to win over the crowd. And then he's like, and Bartolomeo, he responds, I don't care if piece of shit cheer me up. So he, he doesn't give a fuck. So Bartolomeo, I'm very intrigued. I like the way he comes out. I really do. Um, uh... I can see him pulling, like, the most dirtiest shit. You know, like, back in the day, Frankie pulled dirty shit while he was fighting. I can see this guy pulling even dirtier shit when he fights. And the cannibal name, 
Well, does he eat human beings? Does he enjoy human flesh? I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll leave it at that. So right there, Bartolomeo, he gets a good. He gives the chapter a good rating. But it gets even better, all right? Now, and this part, it trimmed me out. It, it, it trimmed me out because when Bellamy was talking to Luffy, and he mentions how he went to Skypea, all right? He mentions how he, he went through some kind of metamorphosis. And of course, and of course Luffy, he's worried because he's like, wait a second. This guy went to Skypea. And then he's like, are the Sky Islanders okay? And he's like, maybe. So, like, you know, like, he's taunting Luffy. He's like, maybe. I don't, I don't know. And Bellamy leaves. But he's like, I won't laugh at you anymore. I understand that you're strong. And I've changed. Like, he says that he's changed as, as an individual. And he, he still respects Quixote. And he will continue to serve Quixote. For as long as he lives. I mean, that's the that's the message that he's giving to Luffy. That's his message. And there's something that I must point out that caught my attention very quickly, all right? And this may hint, this may be a hint at Bellamy's current power. I'm, I'm not saying that that, I'm not saying that this did that stutter, fuck up, I don't care. I'm not saying that this is, like, guarantee his strength right now. But it does, it, it is a hint. And what it is, simply put, is that when the announcer, like after the whole entire Bartolomeo scene, the announcer, he's talking about how he's mentioning someone who is the polar opposite of Bartolomeo. Whereas Bartolomeo is really hated, this person's really liked and, re and really loved in his country. And how this person, he has, he is completely 100% loyal to the Quixote family. If this person wins, he gets a spot on Don Flamingo's personal ship. If this person, like like this person currently, he, um, any country that has, you know, like disrespected Dress Rosa, he's gone there and he's destroyed these countries. And then this, this announcer, he mentions how he, like the reason why some of these countries were so envious of Dressrosa was because Bellamy, apparently, he delivered a giant golden pillar to Don Quixote Don Flamingo. Now, right now, you're, now, right now, you're gonna see a picture, and here it is, bam, boom. You see that picture? You see that picture? This could possibly be, in fact, it probably is the giant pillar that they were talking about, because think about it. A giant golden pillar. He went to Skypea. Now I do, and, and according to him, he lost all of his friends. So you have to wonder how the fuck did he get this thing back down to the blue sea from the white white sea? And the only option that I can think of right now is that either he dropped it. I mean, if he dropped it. 10,000 meters from the freaking sky. How could he find it again? So, I'm thinking he must have carried this shit. Like, he must have, like, literally just carried this giant golden pillar. And, I mean, now, is that a stretch? It, it probably is, because the Bellamy, the Bellamy that I remember was a piece of shit. I mean, let's be honest here, right? He was bouncing around and shit. Luffy's like, fuck you. Mm, and he, he imprinted his face into his freaking skull. But... Maybe his metamorphosis was his trial of carrying this giant golden pillar down to the new world to Don Quixote do Flamingo. Maybe that was maybe that's why he changed because he because he, he had to go through this trial, this self-imposed trial. I believe so. Yo, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, it's the the possibility is there. The option is there, and. As far as we know, Skyline is pretty okay. Because like w w when the time skip started, and we saw all these cover pages of the other parts in the world right now, like Alabasta, we saw the Giant's home, and yada, yada, yada. Or like, or like um, Little Garden, where, where Brogy and uh, the other guy are still fighting. We also saw Skypea, and Skypea seems, you know, fine. Like, they have, like, a rubber land. The people, um, the Shandians and the Skypeans, they're in good standing right now. So I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that they're okay. But Bellamy at some point he actually went up to Skypea, 
grabbed the golden pillar and brung that shit back down. And most likely he carried that shit on a ship or something. But he had to physically, I believe so, physically like grab that shit and take it with him. So power boost, maybe, who knows? Who, who, who knows? I'm just saying it's an option. All right, it's there. The the possibility is there. And then after that, again, we, we see a few scenes. So right there, that part, also good. Because it hints at something, because I love Skype Ian. And this hints at something that I think is very important that may hint at the current standing of Bellamy. Not only mentally, but also physically. And I like that. I do. Um, and of course, it shows his loyalty to Flamingo. Flamingo forced one of his own men to cut him. And even still, he is loyal to this guy. Like, it shows, not only does it hint at Bellamy's current standing mentally, physically, not only, not only does it hint at his, uh, not only does it showcase his loyalty to the Quixote family, but also it shows you the magnitude of Quixote's, of Don Quixote's charisma. How he's able to even influence Bellamy, a guy who he forced, well, a guy who he pretty much broke down, had one of his own henchmen cut him via controlling him and so on and so forth. And even still, he is faithful to, to Quixote. Even still. Even still. That's called charisma. Charisma at its finest. You're like, holy shit. So, right there, right there, man, right there. Very good, I like that. So that part, uh, that part, I will also give a good. And after that, we see a few cutscenes here and there of the Block B section, uh, like 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 the key members. Block C, the only one that I remember is Luffy, and then we see the Block D section, which I remember has Cavendish and Rebecca. So, and then the fight commences, and then the fight actually commences in Block B, and then like these guys team up against uh, Bellamy, and that's where the chapter ends. So the chapter ring overall, I'm gonna give it good. Because even though it's kind of more set up, it really is. And then even though, even though the pace, not 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 the pacing, even though the story progression wasn't really there. I like the introduction of Bartolomeo. I like his character scheme thus far. I'm very eager to find out more about Bartolomeo. He's a pure dick, and I like it. No homo, <laughs> no homo. And then Bellamy, just like you know, like Bellamy, man. This metamorphosis, I gotta see. Cause he has, like, think about it. Like, he has a pretty cool power. The Bane Bane no Mi. Like, he can bounce around and shit and move at fairly high speeds. Now, he's had an increase of, he, he's had an increase of bounty, I believe, almost four times as much. And he's gone, and he may have actually physically picked up a giant golden pillar that was on the uh, giant bell in Skypea. The one that Lightning God NL wanted. This may actually be some connection to NL and like the moon. And because apparently according to Oda, this is somehow going to tie into the moon. He said this. And Oda, he said that there's going to be two things in his art. A new species, and we already see it, toys. Well, it could be either toys or fairies. I mean, I'm, I'm not too sure. And then it's going to somehow tie into the moon. And, we, and, and there's multiple moons in One Piece, at least as far as we know, story-wise. Because back in the uh, back in, back in the Robin flashback, we, we saw a uh, we saw a picture of the One Piece, uh, like an actual globe of the actual world, and it had like several different moons. And it could be the moon that he's referring to, the one that NL's on, with the actual ruins that are on the moon. Like, there's so many things that Oda could just chuck in there and say, fuck it. But this somehow has to tie into the moon and hopefully NL. Because you know, you, you motherfuckers know how I feel about Lightning God and NL. You, you guys know. You guys know 100%. Fuck. Oh, if he... Ah, I, I can imagine this shit, man. He's coming down. El Thor. Like, fuck it. Let's go. All right, but I'm done. The chaptering overall is good. Good chapter, right? Uh, I won't give it a grade. I won't give it an... Uh, amazing because again it was more set up and we have to deal with that but the fights have begun in full now right block b's going ham right now block c's gonna go ham depending on depending on how much we see a block b go in and hopefully oda doesn't skip this actual you know this round because he did skip block a which kind of irked me it did i'm not gonna lie to you it did it did but whatever not not a big deal because you know we got it we got to see jesus Ah, oh, just wee! All right, I'm done.
rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'm signing out. Peace. Have a nice day. Salute to the mess is. <laughs>